Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. For today's valued viewer request, we've got from Furman Effendi. Cap, another valued viewer request. Which missile in DCS has a lock-on after launch capability? L-O-A-L. Can I relock a Fox 1, i.e. a 27ER, into a target after I break the lock or those missiles just simply doomed? So... The first thing to point out, this is not a simple question. It sounds like something you can just get in a plane, fire a missile, you know, with a lock, lose the lock, put the lock on. It's We've been at this for a while now. It's simply not that simple. And that is because there's so many variations. I can tell you right now, it depends not just on the missile, but also the plane that's guiding that missile. So you can have a AIM-7MH. It will perform differently, fired by a Hornet and fired by a F-15. Uh, and also as well, the same missile, the MH, it depends whether it lofts or not, or the M, whether it lofts or not, which depends depends on the range and the speed it's fired. I could make a table of probably 500 different variations of missiles, speeds they were fired at, loft or lot, and, and fill it out. And, then, and I can spend days populating it. I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is give you a basic overview. So missiles can be put into three brackets, FOX-1, FOX-2, FOX-3. Very simply, FOX-1 needs continuous wave guidance from the mothership all the way to the target. FOX-2 is IR passive IR guided. It receives no data link information from the uh, aeroplane once it's been fired and therefore it's completely irrelevant today. FOX-2 can never have lock-on after launch ability, at least the variants we have in DCS. Modern, Mikas and stuff maybe, but whatever. FOX-3 have their own onboard radar they act a bit like a fox one until they get to a certain distance to the target then they cut the data link between them and the mothership and they use their own radar to guide okay we're only going to look at fox ones and briefly at fox threes today next of those fox ones and fox threes what are we going to study because there are there are so many in dcs now it's becoming difficult to keep track of them so our firing test beds let's start with the f-18 F-18, we are going to be firing the following missiles, a FOX-1 variant, the AIM-7MH, and also we'll try an AMRAAM, an AIM-120C. Also on another F-18, we've got the AIM-120Cs again, and just the AIM-7H, the non-home on jam model. It's interesting to test the difference between those. Then an F-15C firing an AIM-7MH, and we've got the same type of AMRAAMs again. Then we've got a Mirage 2000 with a Super 530 FOX-1. Then we've got a SU-27 variant with R27ERs, and that's all we're going to look at today. Even just those, there's a lot of variations, and we're just going to test a few. So let's start with the firing test bed as the F-18 using the Mike non-hotel Fox 1. Today's targets will be a pair of F-18s, and it doesn't matter what they are, we will always get the same result. It just depends on the kinematics. Stand by. In the F-18 now with same seven mics, I will call my, out my workload. Unpause. Select the AIM-7. Turn loft off. Whether we loft makes a massive difference. You will not, as far as we can see, get launch on after lock ability with a lofting. Don't know why, it's just a thing. So, loft off. Select the target in an STT, a single target track. Ping ping i'm now going to fire the missile just make sure i'm in firing parameters i am fire the missile okay it's guiding just got a few seconds to get ballistically correct i'm now going to unlock the target i'm unlocking ulc it's now not guiding at all it's just now an unguided rocket uh, and i can te test that because i can leave him unlocked and i can guarantee it will miss the target i'm now going to relock rc and we should see especially if it's got motor left in it uh re-engagement of the missile there it goes, it's guiding again. So this is an AIM-7 mic. It does have lock on after launch, as you can see. Now, what we could also try is firing without a lock, so just firing flood mode. That will not work in the F-18. Weirdly, it will work in other aircraft, and that's all about the aircraft specific, the way it fires without a lock, which is going to vary between different aircraft. Okay, I'll see. We're going to reset now, and we're going to try an uh, AIM-7MH, the home on jam variant. Select the weapon, turn loft off. Like I said, loft we've tried with all weapons, and we cannot get it to work for reacquiring. Get an STT. STT acquired. Getting kinematic parameters, which we are. Fire the missile. Give it a few seconds to stabilise. I know it says M, but it's definitely an MH for what it's, uh, what it's worth. We're now going to unlock the missile. Get ready to relock. It's now an unguided rocket. And we know that because we've tested it several times. I'm now going to relock. Is that an STT? Yes, it is. And absolutely no prizes for what happens next. 
gonna hit me. Hello, McClure. Yeah, well. Boom, done. So, another concept we thought you would ask, and so we uh, tried, is that RC actually has a wingman here. That's his wingman, that's RC. Can you fire the missile at one guy, unlock, and then relock onto another guy? Uh, we haven't managed to get, get that to work with any missiles. So, with any missiles, we cannot to lock onto one guy, unlock for a few seconds, relock on, even within uh, kinematic uh, parameters, relock onto other guys. It just doesn't seem to be programmed, whether they work in real life. I, you know, how am I supposed to know? No idea at all. So that's something. Next over to the F-15. Okay, what I've got here is an AIM-7MH. Again, I'm in an F-15. Okay. Yep. Roger, I'm just going to get a lock on you. with This is an FC-3 plane. Uh, lock you on Shoot. an STT. Shoot. Check the parameters, which are good. Now, I will fire the missile. <laughs> yes, I will. I will fire the missile. I will unlock. Now, interesting. Now, this one is actually skying. No, it's not. It's not lofting. It's not lofting. Uh, unlock and I'm going to relock Shoot. again. Shoot. It should work. If it if it um, lofts properly, as in really goes high, it will not work for reasons I don't understand. That's probably going to hit you, I think, as long as I'm going to retain yeah, lock. And I think I am. Boom. Okay. Now, that was expected. Now, what we're not going to expect is what happens next. So, just jump in a new plane, I'll see. Okay, now let's try and see what happens if I fire without a lock to begin with, which I can do in this aircraft, so let me just get set up with everything I need. That's the 7MH right. again. Just get, uh, we're going to get not to get a lock, but we're going to have him on the radar ready to lock. Okay, I'm going to fire an MH without a lock. I'm going to give it a little bit of a lock because I know it needs a little bit of a help. Uh, I'm going to go ping. Okay, now I am going to lock onto you afterwards, Shoot. and let's Shoot. see what happens. Watch this. There he goes. I reckon that's going to get you. Or is it? Is it going to die? Make sure I'm locking on still. I am. No, uh, he'll get me. Nah, that's because, yeah, it's because this is not fired in the same kind of flood mode that the F-18 is fired in. And therefore, it will accept data link instructions again. Boom. Bump. Uh, so, so... Now, the cool thing about that is I can fire this missile, this Fox-1 missile, at... 20 miles 30 miles away and when I think it's near him I can then lock it and suddenly it will become an active missile a bit like how a Fox 3 works it's very strange now that said it's not quite that simple because you've got to get the parameters uh, right there if I would have kind of aimed too low and fired it then um, it would have been out of parameters to be able to relock onto him what those parameters no idea as far as I'm aware no one you know uh, it's, it's, it's classified information. If I'd, or if I'd have lofted that up manually like that, it probably wouldn't have relocked. So you've got to be able to lob the missile roughly into the right direction. Then, when you feel it's right and the parameters are correct, then you can relock it. And that's what you can do with an MH in an F 15C. An M model in an F 15C, not so easy. Why? Because it's going to want to loft, and we've got no loft control uh, in, the, uh, in this aircraft. Next, let's try an AIM 120C. This is a Fox 3 uh, fully active. Radar guided missile, so let's just get in our new planes, I'll see. Select my AMRAM, turn my radar on so that I can lock you up when ready. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spoof over to the side here. Now we've got to differentiate between uh, uh, you know, a pit pulled missile, a missile that's gone, or a mad dog missile, a missile that's turned its radar off on as soon as it's gone off the rail and an actual lock from me. hope that makes sense, if not I'll try to explain it better in a minute. So fire it here. Okay, and I'm going to wait, and then I'm going to lock in a minute. Let's do it now. Now I'm going to lock him. If it accepted requests, which I know it won't because we know how these work, it would now turn and go and find him, okay? But it isn't. Now, the reason it isn't is because, as far as I'm aware, all, well, I think all Fox 3s, but certainly all of the AMRAM variants, as soon as I fire them off the rail from my F-15, they are going to go mad dog. So they're immediately going to skip to the bit where they turn their own radar on and, and go uh, fully active. Now, what happens when you do that is they cut the data link between the missile and here, and me, so the mothership, and I can never update it again. Uh, if I'd fired it straight at him, it would have actually killed him still, simply because it's got its own radar and it would eventually pick him up within its eight miles or so of detection. That's why I had to fire it off at an askew angle like that so fox series no that said 
a much more intelligent missile than DCS is the AIM-54 Phoenix. That needs looking into properly. That's a very complex missile. If you go and read the manual about it, it's got many different ways of firing it, and the logics have all been changed. So I haven't looked into that, the one that does need looking into. Okay, so AMRAMs, the answer is no. Interestingly, if I locked onto the target with a FOX-3 to begin with, and then unlocked, and then locked on again, this is where it gets really confusing, it would hit, probably. The way it would hit is that once I'd, I would fire the missile with a lock and it would you know, be following my guidance. Then when I unlocked, it would, at that point, initiate its pit bull and it would cut the date link between itself and my mothership. At that point, I can no longer update its guidance. However, it will probably still hit the target anyway because it remembers where that target was and predicts where it should go and it would head in that direction. As long as the target didn't suddenly turn around at that point, it will probably still go and hit it of its own accord. Uh, so that's why this test of firing locked and then unlocked and then locked again is not particularly relevant with a Fox 3 save, maybe the Phoenix, which is a bit more confusing. <sighs> that's the best way I could think of explaining it. I don't think there's any simple way of explaining that. What else should we try? Let's just try other variants of the missiles. Okay, let's go SU-27 and show you what happens with that RC. Just getting a new plane. Radar on. Uh, I am trying to sit here and work out how to turn the radar on. Can't work it out. There we go. Radar is now on. Uh, I'm going to lock him up. Launch authorized. I'm going to have a 27 ER selected. Um, within range, I'm going to fire the missile. Did not loft. I'm now going to unlock if I can remember how to. And I can. We're now unlocked. And we'll relock in a bit. Give him a second, give him a second. And we're now relocking. Launch authorized. Okay, RC, get ready for a boom. So that worked, and pretty much, so lock on after launch worked with the R27ER, but watch this. Again, I'll see you getting a new plane when you're ready. I'm not going to get a lock on this. Instead, I'm going to fire without a lock, uh, which I will do. Watch what happens to the missile. Ah, it's not lofting. How interesting. Well, I'm going to try getting a lock on you this time anyway. Launch authorized. Are you getting a missile warning? Yep. Ah. For some reason, it didn't loft. It did last time. Don't know why. What we're gonna, what I wanted to do was loft, and I was hoping it was gonna uh, loft. But it's not. So it probably will hit again. Okay. Right, I'm gonna pause that and just collect my thoughts. So what happened there? I tried the first one, locked on, unlocked, and then locked on again, and it worked fine. Okay. The second one, I didn't lock. I fired, you know, the equivalent of flood. I fired without lock and then locked it on and it did work. What I was trying to show is what happened in practice earlier is if I fired without a lock, what I found is that it uh, lofted and uh, I was in certain parameters that made it loft. It's probably to do with my altitude, I would guess. I was much down, lower down in testing, at which point it lofted into the thin air and then would not lock back on. So that goes back to what I was saying at the beginning. If the Fox One lofts, you can't lock it back on. If it doesn't loft, you can lock it back on as long as you're not firing in a certain mode like the FA-18 does with the flood mode, which doesn't allow you to lock back on. So, with that said, all that leaves, I think, is the Mirage. Uh, I'm going to unpause our seat, get a new plane. I don't think we're going to find anything particularly interesting here. Uh, now, I can't fire in the Mirage unless I've got a lock. I'm pretty sure I had a play around earlier. I'm pretty sure that's right. Um, I've got everything on. So, I'm going to fire right. at you. Now, I've got two contacts because Mirage. So I'm going to guess that's you. Okay, um, almost in parameters to fire. I'm in parameters to fire. Wait, 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 now. Okay, I am now firing the missile. No, I'm not. I'm now firing the missile. I'm now dumping the lock, if I can remember how to. I can't. There we go. I think I've dumped the lock. Can you confirm the lock's dumped? It'll take a few seconds to update. No. Still getting a missile warning. Yeah, it does that though, doesn't it? Well, let's see what happens. Let's see if it misses. Let's see if it misses. It's going to hit me. Yes, it is. No, it didn't. It didn't. No, it didn't. It it, 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 no, <laughs> yeah, right. And that's what I thought. I wasn't actually locked there. Um, let's just reset that one. Getting a new plane. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. So I didn't relock that time. Okay. Uh, I'm going to lock on to you. Just getting um, kinematic parameters. This time I will lock on or attempt to relock on. You should fight. Well, God. It, it wasn't interesting how um, close it was to hitting you. Uh, yeah. Even with the ballistic trajectory. Missile firing. Right, okay, I'm unlocking now. Oh, it was funny, so hard to unlock this plane. Right, there we go. And I'm going to try locking you again. I'm just not a Mirage driver, so locking onto you. 
I think I've locked back onto you. Uh, let's see if it hits you this time. I get the feeling it probably... No, it's not going to hit you again. No. Nope. Okay. Um, I'm not going to spend any time on that, because I just don't know the Mirage well enough. I never really learned it properly. Right, to summarise our findings. F-18 firing either a Mike Verin or a Mike Hotel Verin. Aim 7. Fired with a lock, then losing a lock, then reacquiring lock on the same target. Yes, it works. On a different target, it does not work. Either of those missiles fired without a lock and then trying to acquire a lock will not work due to the flood mode interaction with the missile that I don't really understand, to be honest. F-15, an MH missile fired with a lock, lose a lock, gain a lock, works. Lose a lock, so fired with no lock, gain a lock, works. Because it doesn't seem to loft from an F-15 for some reason. A mic model of the AIM-7 with the F-15, with a lock, lose a lock, with a lock, seems to work. Without a lock, gain a lock, doesn't seem to work because it seems to loft otherwise and lofting on any of these missiles seems to stop the uh the the, the loa l from working at all amrams uh, it seems to be the same from what we found on all aircraft i stand to be corrected all the aircraft here and that is you cannot relock after launch it, if you fire it if you lock it you lose the lock and you relock it appears to have cut the data link at that point and you can't relock again i stand to be corrected but that's what we found firing without a lock and then uh, uh, gaining a lock does not work because at that point it's gone mad slash pitbull slash fully active it's cut the data link okay is that going to differ between different planes i just don't know um someone's going to have to sit down and test 40 aircraft and i'm not, not going to be able to do that so that's that now that is more difficult to test of course because you've got to differentiate that like i said from the natural uh, fully active behavior of the aircraft which is that it will cut its data link and turn its own radar on Okay, Fox 2s, like I said, as far as we can see, don't have any data link capability back to Mothership, so they're irrelevant. Fox 1 from an SG-27, R-27E, R lock, no lock, lock will work. And a no lock to lock will work if it loft, doesn't loft and will not work if it does loft. And whether it does or doesn't loft, I think it's to do with your altitude. It may be to do with your speed. It may be to do with your aspect. I just don't know. Again, that's too much information to check. But those are the basic rules. Mirage, if you fire it with a lock and lose the lock, it doesn't work. If you fire it with a lock, lose the lock and gain the lock. I tried just for the first time there and it didn't seem to work. However, I'm not a very good Mirage driver and I, I don't really want to spend the time going further into that. Uh, and you can't fire without a lock, as far as I can see. Uh, that's that lot there covered. And the only thing to point out with that is that all, none of them seem to work to lock a target up, fire it lose the lock and then try and lock another target up to skip onto another target can't seem to get that to work with anything uh, any of this missiles may simply just not be programmed i don't know that's the information gathered there let me know if you want me to go further into that but like i said there's lots of variables to test the further we go into this the more confusing i think this is going to get otherwise there are some little gems in there like the f-15 fire the mh missile and then suddenly lock it onto him when it's only a couple of miles away it's an you know kind of undefeatable missile fox 3 style missile that you have control of with callback ability call off ability really interesting i'm going to leave it there because i'm going to talk around in circles i hope you enjoyed that and i'll see you later